I'm Vicki Clafter. I'm from Norfolk High. <laughs> and uh, the title of this piece is Bulldozer. <clears throat> A bulldozer sits in front of me. Its massive arm poised and ready to swing, ready to dash my last wall standing, the fourth wall standing between you and me. Forget it. Because now I am bared and naked to the world, bared and naked to you. For many years, my concrete foundations have rocked in this lot of land, locked in sandy dirt that grass was never able to grow in. A bitter heart occupied my rooms. She was raw, she was rage, she was so lonely for a love she always turned away at the threshold. And at night, when I cradled her in my creaking, groaning embrace, she leaked. Words of distrust and hate and tears that spilled onto my hickory chin and spelled out the sentences she would never pronounce and she served the, crime, she served the sentence for a crime she would never plead guilty. She leaked and it seeped into my cracks until I was just like her. Towering weeds took firm root and grew up my walls in twisting, choking vines. Grimy shame and dead flies who came a pain away from reaching freedom created a layer of blaze over my windows until no one could see out. Waste and decay built up and broke down over the stairs, the furniture, the papers from different eras until my soul was a pit and we were both rotting from the inside. Then one day she left one more time than she came back. Now, I do not rock, I tremble. A stabbing wind cuts through my vandalized windows. I am assaulted by the branches, slicing and chipping my, my paint until it becomes particles of dust that will not blow away, no matter the strength of the gale, the rain, the snow, or the hail that batters my lonely walls. We are the same. I see her in my blind eyes, crouched in the corner of that clean white room, nurses with daggers, probing and dicing, but never touching. That is her deathbed, but I remember she always slept in a chair. Subtly. And then with a scream of rust and power, the arm swings, it dashes out my last wall, it chokes out my last breath. And I wonder, would I still stand if she had let someone enter my door? <laughs> 